Hello, my name is Tom Christie. I am a writer and also the co-director of a publishing house, Extremis Publishing, based in Stirling, which is in the heart of Scotland. I first started writing in 2007, that's when my first book was published, and uh, ever since then I've really enjoyed being a part of the literary world. Um, I write predominantly about non-fiction related to popular culture, um, that can encapsulate many things including cinema history, popular literature and more recently interactive fiction and retro computer games. Uh, I like to think that I bring something a little bit different to the table. Um, I always try to find slightly unusual subject matter, um, perhaps a, a field that has so far been unfurled um, and to really get into the nuts and bolts of what makes that subject really special. It's an interesting thing writing non-fiction. Um, because you can find inspiration just about anywhere. And it's often said that if you write a book, you need to really, really love the subject or really hate it in order to have the stamina to complete a really long project. Well, I'm pleased to say that every single project that I've worked on um, has, has focused on a subject that has really interested me, um, often by people that I admire, be they filmmakers, music makers, computer game programmers, um, any number of people. Um, because I was really fortunate in the period that I grew up in the 1980s and 90s um, when there was really so much in the way of inventive media uh, being produced at the time, um, whether it was uh, movies, whether it was uh, the pop music of the time, um, even the nascent home computer market um, from back then. Um, and all of these have had an impact on, on how I write. Um, and the best thing about it, of course, is the people that you meet as a result of doing it. Um, I've been really very fortunate they have found so many people who are enthusiastic about the field um, and have wanted to discuss things in more detail. And I think if you can do that, it's a really rewarding thing as an author because you feel as though you've had a positive impact on the way that someone has seen uh, a subject and perhaps help them to be as enthusiastic about it as you are. The really interesting thing about writing about popular culture particularly is the fact that it's always changing. It reflects the world around us. Uh, and it gives us an opportunity perhaps to see things in a different way, um, possibly from the point of view of someone um, whose own experiences of life have been quite different to our own. Um, and I think that's something that's worth celebrating. Uh, it gives you a wonderful sense of diversity when it comes to creative expression. Um, so what I would like to think is that in the years to come, um, some of the really exciting developments that are happening now in internet culture and independent cinema uh, and retro game revivals, all of these things um, that are very positive developments and very community oriented um, will be having an impact and who knows where those things will lead in time. Um, there's a very, very strong sense of evolution um, in the way that uh, popular culture is consumed uh, by wider society and of course it varies across societies as well. Um, so I would like to think that as uh, time goes by um, there's going to be so much more to write about and many of the subjects that are going to be addressed possibly don't even exist yet. Like so many authors, I always have two or more projects going on at any one time. And at the moment I'm working on a couple of really interesting projects. Uh, one to do with a video game pioneer of the 1980s, someone who really broke the mould when it came to interactive creativity. And the other project is a return to a subject of special interest to me, uh, and that is uh, vintage cinema. Um, over the last few years I've been working on a four volume series uh, related to the history of Christmas cinema, um, which has went from the 1940s all the way up to the late 1990s. Um, in this new uh, book, which will be coming out hopefully in 2025, uh, I've been taking a look at the Christmas cinema of the 1960s and 70s, which is something of a twilight zone for the genre. Um, it has been a very interesting book to research, uh, and I hope that people will be interested to read it. Moving on from that, I have a variety of other subjects that I would like to address, uh, some which will be uh, familiar to some of the subjects that I've covered in the past, and some which will be brand new, at least to me. Although I've been an author since 2007, um, the publishing company that I operate with my co-founder and sister is called Extremist Publishing, and it was founded in 2015. All of the titles that we have produced at Extremist Publishing have been distributed through Ingram Spark, and at all times we have found them to be a highly professional and exceptionally proficient organisation. 
we've been very privileged to have worked with a number of uh, staff members at Ingram Spark from all different parts of the world. And we've always enjoyed their input into the many different projects that we've worked on. Now, this is an exceptionally important thing because the subjects that we cover really come from a variety of different disciplines. And for that reason, it could be cultural history, it could be road trips, it could be world travel. There's a whole variety of different subjects that our books have addressed um, as a result of the many different authors that we've worked with. And at all times, Ingram Spark have been there for us. They have uh, provided an exceptional uh, quality of service. Um, and I would say the really valuable thing about the organisation is the fact that they really respect creativity and they do everything they possibly can to encourage publishers and writers to make the most of the uh, potential that Ingram Spark gives them. That might be the variety of high quality materials that are available for the, uh, the books that are produced. It could be the many different formats that are available, with new ones coming uh, on stream at many different times. Uh, which have given us the pause you know, to consider exactly how uh, a different project might take shape. So for all of these reasons, I would recommend Ingram Spark to anyone uh, who's involved in the literary industry. Um, they have been an absolute delight to work with, and we certainly look forward to working with them uh, for the years to come. <laughs>